All right, if you've used the Stella emulator for the Atari 2600, you know you can press the F9 and F10 keys to save your game state in uh, different slots. And when you do that, you'll see an indication at the bottom of the screen that you changed to a certain slot or you saved to that slot or you restored from that slot. Now I'm going to switch to Pitfall to show the progress, but before we do that, I'm going to talk a little bit about how Stella implements save games. So Stella has implemented save slots. There's 10 of them per game, going from slot 0 to slot 9. You start with slot 0. When you save it, it saves the game state right there where you're at. And then you change to a different slot, and then you save it. And you continue doing this for all, as many as you want, up to 9 or 10 different slots. Each and every save is named according to data that's stored in a ROM. So it uses the game name, the publishing date, the publisher, and then the number of the uh, save. For example, here's the one for Pitfall for save 0. As you save, it changes to the next file name with ST1, ST2, and so on. So what you end up with is a list of all your saves for that particular game uh, stored. And we'll cover where that stores it in a minute. Now I've switched to River Raid to demonstrate that every game starts out with 10 blank slots, unless you've used it before. And as soon as you do a save to slot 0, boom, there you go. It saves to slot 0, and then to slot 1, like we demonstrated before, on through slot 9. That way, in the state directory, you end up with file names that effectively give you storage for each and every game, and however many saves there are for that game. But instead of having to press the F9, F10, and F11 key to change to your different states and save and restore them, there's a much better way. All you have to do to utilize this is simply play your game until you get to a difficult spot that you may not uh, get through. Um, and then you want to be able to save it so you can try it. In this case, I'm going to go through a pitfall here to the infamous alligator uh, frame. And just before I go there, I'm going to hit the slap backslash key. And we come up with this menu. Now, as you can see from it, there's much more than just saving here, but that's what we're going to concentrate on today, is just how to do that. So you notice here, you can save to that state. So now I've saved to that state, and I'm ready to go ahead and try to get past these guys. So as most everybody knows, it's best to get by these guys in one triple jump, but I'm going to do it in a section here, and I'm going to do that. So now I need to restore from that state I just saved. Now make sure you move to the restore or load, uh, and you, there you are. You're back where you were at. You can go here and go one, two, up. I just screwed up again. So I just hit enter now. I don't have to make any different selection, and I've gone ahead and uh, restored. I want to get through to these guys. So do it again. And do it again. And finally get out. So there I am. I'm on to my next stage. Now because I got past them, I want to go here and maybe change to the next state and save it. So I don't have to worry about uh, repeating it again if I fail here. Okay, which is a much easier level. But then you go, I'm going two screens, let's say. Maybe five screens, whatever. I get to a spot where I want to save. And it's important to do that uh, whenever you feel worried. For example, here's one that's pretty straightforward. You just wait for it to close and you run really fast and get your reward. But I'm going to save it anyways. I'm going to change it to the next state and say save. And as soon as it collapses, I'm off to get my reward. And you notice the score, I get my 4,000 points. And here I am here. I'm going to go ahead and do it over here, no problem. I get to here. And I forget what I'm doing and oh, I get there. I have to go all the way back uh, to restore from uh, that earlier state. So I go back over here, go down to uh, load, and I'm back here, back at 1800 points. So I've lost two screens. So it's important to note to save whenever you feel you're ready. That way you won't have to repeat a, a couple of screens maybe. It's important to note when you bring up the menu key with the backslash that you can't move around it using your arrow keys because the game has lost focus. You have to click on the game first. You might as well just go ahead and click on a different box. Now that we talked about how to save, let's talk about where they're stored at. You have to go to your user directory on Windows and go to your app data folder in the roaming section. You'll see a list of whatever your installed apps. If you scroll down to Stella, you'll find it there. You just simply go down here to Stella and you open it up and you'll see a state directory. You click on that and you'll see the listing of all your different files you have for all the games you've played. 
once you've located them, you can back them up somewhere else. You can do a lot of different things. You can't change the name because the name structure is what it uses to load that particular state. There you have it, your hidden backslash menu in Stella to help you save and load and restore games. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want more, you can just click on subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.